you can tell in the first 10 seconds what their fighting style is like. It's up to me then what sort of fight I make it. He'll start pushing forward. And that's when I know the fight could change. But like I said, we're not there to win. He's a fantastic boxer. But if you knock someone out, that's a nightmare for business. I had my first fight when I was 15. I'd been to watch my mate fight Luke Campbell in the final of the ABAs, and I really enjoyed the atmosphere. I thought, I want to give it a go. That's when I went into the boxing gym. After six weeks, I was flying, and they went, do you want to fight? So that was my first amateur fight. And I just jumped into it feet first. That's when I knew I wanted to be a boxer. With Lewis, he can be very, very busy. He makes it the art that he can fight every single week if there are fights available for him every single week. With that in mind, we're working on so many different aspects that we could potentially face. We tend never to spar. The spar is literally the fight. He is highly skilled. You can't look at what that record says because we're not really looking at going in there to win the fight. Basically, promoters, buying a couple of hundred pound extra to make sure we lose. Although how wrong that sounds, we love that because this side of it is a business. I turned professional, trained by a team in Newport. My third fight, Richard stepped in. <laughs> and then me and him just got on like a house on fire straight away. <laughs> <laughs> you probably wound that one up. It's an entertainment business. We want to look good losing. <laughs> to do that, you've got to be very, very good defensively. <laughs> He needs to be not cut, not really bruised up, so that we can fight the following week or in two weeks' time. Otherwise, he loses out on work. You need an exit plan for boxing, and you need something to fall back on or walk into. I work for a company called Brothers Lifts, and we fit lifts and hoists. I'm one of these people that have tried my hand at everything, really. From bar work, building sites, shop fitting, all sorts. I was in the army for six years as well, so that was a big chunk of my life. I served on an operational tour in Afghanistan in the Helmand province. I was an infantry, I was in a regiment called the Rifles. The stuff out there is a lot more threatening than a bloke with a pair of boxing gloves on. The work-life balance is hard because I'm running up and down stairs all day, carrying heavy bits of kit, and I'm up early in the morning. I find it hard sometimes to do a day's work, go home and get changed and go out for a run or go to the gym. It's quite a lonely sport boxing anyway. It's just really hard to find the motivation sometimes. Where they say boxing's the hardest sport, it is. Not because of the fight. The training's tough. The ticket selling's tough. Getting the right management is tough. 
Finding the right promoter is tough. You can get a lot of broken promises. I've fallen out of love with boxing so many times. Hard work and talent don't always get you where you need to be. You need to have someone else. If he could have been a ticket seller, he could be in a very, very different position right now. He could have gone to at least the British title. But if you can't sell tickets, as long as you've got the minerals to get in there and accept you're going to lose, it's a great career path. When I realised I was never going to be a world beater, that was like a bit of a light bulb moment for me. I sort of realised that this is the way forward and how I'm going to move on and make a name for myself. I went from fighting two or three times a year to fighting eight times a year, then it was 15 times a year, then it was 20 times a year. The most I've done in one year was 33 fights. Richard's phone was off the hook. I had like a diary, I was just sort of fight after fight in it. Every week was booked up. I was like, this is great. And I just embraced it. People see us joking around and having a great time and whatever and think we're crazy, I think, at times. But if we need to be 100% deadly serious, we are. You can have a bit of pressure from the border control, you know, you need to be winning rounds or you need to get the odd win, or they can pull you in. You've got to explain why you're losing. So every now and again, if he feels like it, you go for a win. We watched Idris. I've seen some flaws, and the flaws that he has, from a counter punch point of view, fall into like some of his best shots, some of his best works. He's trained hard, he's trained well. You know, he's in shape, he can fight when he needs to fight, he can box when he needs to box. And like, again, touch wood, fingers crossed. Keep safe. As I've got more experience, it's a formality. I've got to stand in the change rooms, get gloved up and wait for the whip to say, come on, Pooch, you're walking now. We are really close friends. I also know he completely trusts me in that corner as well. The change rooms to the arena is two very different settings. People are there to be entertained, and that's my job. As soon as that bell goes, that's me then in entertainment mode. Some opponents do underestimate him, which surprises me. If one kid's been told that I've lost 125 fights and he can go in there and whack me around, it's just not going to happen. He's got power in both hands and he will put it on you at some point. When that happens, you've got a problem coming your way. Boxing is an art form in itself. The fact that you can go in with these people and not get hurt and make it look easy is the art form. And I really enjoy doing that. I do love being the underdogs. There's no pressure on you. You're expected to lose. But if you can entertain like Pooch does, if you've got a skill set like he has, and you can fight like he can, win-win, isn't it? It's win-win for everybody, because he put on a great fight. But all I ever really ask is just win a round, just so that you can tick that box 
keeping the board of control happy. Our referee, Kevin Barker, scores the contest at 37-39 for your winner. And still undefeated, Ingrid! Boxing was my first love, it remained my love forever. And I've made much more of a success in my boxing career and losing fights than I ever would have done if I tried to win. I kind of thought it went pretty much how we thought it was going to go. He's safe, unhurt, he's not marked up. Look, I'm happy. The ref gave you a share of the second, yeah. and he gave you the last, is what he told me. Yeah, but at the end of the day, three points is three points. It's such a... We don't sleep, the sun cat don't eat. Just out in the streets, let it be what it be. And he just does what he does, been doing it from the jump. Not giving up, and he just doing what he doing. He don't sleep, the sun cat don't eat. Just out in the streets, let it be what it be. And he just does what he does, been doing it from the jump. And not giving it up, and he just doing what he's doing. Sun cat, yeah. Uh. And he's just doing what he's doing. Thank <laughs> you.